This is Mr. Burley, the York Catholic District School Board. In this tutorial, I'm going to use both Python and block coding in the VEX VR to show you how to uh, create variables and how to create functions. This is a function, but I'm going to teach you put another function within here. So the very first thing I'm going to do is you look at it, you see that if I click start, what's going to happen here is the real button's going to come up to the top position of the, of the circle. And he's going to execute this line 36 times. It's going to move 10 degrees, move forward this dimension 36 times to get 360 degrees. This calculation right here, I previously did on a piece of paper. And what the calculation is, is 2 pi r divide, so 2 times pi times the radius of the circle. So the radius of the circle I'm using was 250. So 2 times pi times the radius of the circle, and then you have to divide it by the 36. So, okay, so that's where that number comes up. So the, these two numbers here, 36, if it moves 10 degrees, 36 times it moves this, it'll go all the way around a full circle. These two numbers have to multiply out to become 360 degrees. So 10 degrees and 36 works nice. If you wanted a little finer circle, a little more smoother movements, you could change this to five and 72 or so on. Or if you wanted to go faster, you could you know, double it and so on. So those two numbers equal 360 degrees. Again, this number here is two pi r. So two times pi times the radius, which in, our, in my case was 250. And then you divide it by this, the 36 repeat, which gives you this number 43. Well, if you click on here and take a look and you see this is also a very rudimentary Python code, you can see the numbers down through here. It's best practice to not use constants in your program. So what you want to do is you want to use variables. So we'll start off with, we'll, we'll use the variable, we'll set the variables up first. So the first variable I can set up here is right here this drive forward distance. I could call that distance A or whatever the case. I could set those variables up. I could t tell it to turn right 90 degrees. Or what I'm going to do in, in this case, instead of, instead of making it going to those variables, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the degrees, the rays, the, the functions I'm using down in here to create this. So the very first thing I need is, de is degrees. So I'm going to click variables. I'm going to make a variable and I'm going to call it degrees. Submit that, and now what happens is two different things happen. This comes up degrees here, and you can change it. So you can set it to, or you can change it. Well, I'm going to set, bring it up here, and I'm going to set the degrees to 10. That's setting my variable. Now I'm going to set the next one, which is a radius. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to make another variable. I'm going to call it the radius. Submit the radius it over now change radius and i'm gonna set the radius to whatever i am right now so right now i use 250. all right now now i need to get another another one i'm going to make another one and i'm going to call it pi and then bring this over here set pi and pi is three decimal one four one five nine two six, five, three, five, nine. At one time I had that memorized, but not any longer. Now I want to set the, re now I want to make another variable for repeat. That's set that variable here, drop it down to repeat. And I want to repeat this particular one 36 times as we discussed a few seconds ago. Okay, and so I think we've got everything there. Degrees, pi, repeat. Yes, everything's good. So all I need is that. All right, so the next thing I want to do now is if I click on my code over here, you're going to see. Now you can see we've declared them up top here, and then you can see we set the global variables across here. And if you look down below, you can see the values set in Python. Okay, so that's how that works. Now what I want to do, if I click this, it's going to work. But I want to create a function down here. So it's going to work going around there. That's fine. First thing, let's, okay, before I get started too far, let's get rid of this 36 down here because up here I have my 36. So I, I can grab a variable, right? So the variable I'm going to take is repeat. I can grab the repeat and put him in right there. 
like so. I might take that click off and see if it's kind of an irritating sound. Now, that's good. Now what I want to do is I want to create a function. So I go to my blocks, my block, create a block, and I'm going to call this block circle maker. Or something like that. Actually, I want to go small c and large bumpy font m. Make it look professional. Okay. Bring that over here like this. And now what I want to do is I want to come back over here to control and I want to get a repeat. Bring that into here. And I guess I can't get rid of the click sound, so I was hoping I could, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be. Sorry about that. Now I'm going to repeat it. How many times am I going to repeat it? Let's go to my variables, repeat. And you can see it's repeating 36 times, right? So repeat 36 times right there. And what do I want it to do? I want it to drive forward like that. And now I want to do the calculations in here. So down here, I want to get rid of these things and I want to have just the calculations done here. So I'm going to take this out of here. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to take this degrees and put 10 degrees and I can put in here. And I'm going to change right here degrees. So I'll go to my variables and I'm going to implement one of my right there, one of my variables. And now up here, I want to do the calculation. So the calculation, you just go to operators. Now I played around with this a little bit. It's a little, little tiny bit finicky. It's not too, too bad. So we know that our, our formula is two pi. So two times pi times r. So I'm going to grab this one first. I'm going to put it down here. And in here, I'm going to put two. And then I'm going to grab pi. So I'm going to go back to my variables, grab pi and bring pi right in like that, like so. And now I'm going to put him in here like that. 2 times pi, but I need another operator. I need this one. So actually, I'm going to bring it down here. 2 times 2 pi. There we go. Whoops. This is the fussy part. 2 times pi times r. And my radius, r is radius. So I should be able to the variables and get my radius. Like so. And now I need to divide that by 36. So if I come back into here, I'm going to get my divided by, and this will have to play around with this a little bit, divided by right there. Let me try it. Let me take it down. I think it's here, and then I'm going to take my variables. I played around with this. It's a little tiny bit fuzzy. Radius divided by repeat, like so. And then I think I take this whole thing, and I go right to there you go. Okay, see how I did that? It, it took a little playing around. I'll do it again if you want. Now. now you bring it and drop it in here. So now what we've got, really, this would be above here, right? This is what it would look like. I've got it straightened out here like this so you can just see it better as all. Well. Like if you clicked on the Python code, you would see the circle maker is above. Okay, so now what happens here is, is nothing because I have to put the circle maker down below. Circle maker here. Like so. Now what should happen is all the variables are set, moves to the top of the thing, and then it comes down here and it repeats this loop 36 times. It says, well, what is that loop? So it comes up here and says, well, that's the circle maker. This is what I do for the circle maker. So let's see if... Come to the top. all the way around actually it's going around again why is it going around again because I have this shouldn't be repeating 36 times this should only repeat once this will grab this this will repeat 36 times not this loop. It would have drew the same circle 36 times right over top of each other. I was using that something for something else to shift and then come out around and do another. And there you have it. 
Okay, so now, so this is this is the function here that again comes down. So it makes this, two things make this simpler. First of all, we're using variables up here. So it simplifies our code or really our code's just this little one little thing, jumps up here and sees what that's all about. So if you look here, the Python, you can see the Python and this, I wanna bring your show the something that uh, is interesting here. Okay, so first of all, we're declaring the variables up top. It works exactly the same way in, the, in, in Python. Come down in here and you can see we're creating, this is the circle maker code here. And if you, if you look, if you look closely, you can see here. So we've got drive forward, drive forward right there, right? When it gets to the, so forward right there. Now, when it comes into doing the math calculation, you'll see two brackets here. If you look here carefully, you'll see there's two brackets here as well. The outside of this guy and then the inside of that guy creates that bracket. And now if you come across this way, you'll see it lines up the same, right? You'll see here. So there's so there's another bracket right there beside radius that just you could just picture that if it didn't continue across you can see a bracket here then on this side here you can see two brackets one and two so that's how the brackets it's kind of a way to start to understand how the brackets work when you're working in python you can see them right there okay oh, just something i thought i'd show you and then of course there's a final bracket at the very end here but these this cal the math calculations two brackets there's a two there's a bracket after the pi there's two brackets here and you can so you can see that's how it's coded up okay all right again so that's how you do both functions added functions as well as as variables Again, you don't want to use numbers down through your program. Really, I should make variables for all of this stuff as well. And this should, I would also make a variable for that. So I come back in here, make a variable, single, single, or, or single repeat, and then put it down there or something along those lines, right? And again, if you look over here, you can see the same thing. You can see the variables are used. So these, so down in here, right here, pi. It doesn't know what, there's the number, it says, okay, pi, what's pi? comes down here and says, use that number. Comes over here and says, radius. What radius do we use? Okay, use that number. The nice thing about this code too, if I come back here and I change it, well, let's say I decided, you know what? I want 500. I don't have to go back and recode everything. I can, because it's using a function and using variables, it makes it very easy to make modifications to the program. Pro variables and functions up front are a lot of work, but in the end, they help you a lot, especially when you're debugging your code or you want to make modifications to your code. This is the best way to do it. Now, one other thing I did, which was quite a bit of fun, is I stopped here, turned 90 degrees, lift the pen up, moved up, put the pen back down, and then down in here, I made yet another function, and I had the function up here, that it would go then add, it would take, I created another block, it would say offset five, 25 millimeters and then it would come back around again so that's kind of fun that can be your try that can be your your trial now so or your your assignment so you know how to do this you know how to make the, all these different things so see if you can come up and add to this where it comes out lifts the pen up goes out goes all the way around and you want a concentric circle you want the circles directly over top of one another okay thanks for watching